Hello my fantastic artists. This week we have a new project of course and it is inspired by a new artist. His name is Stanford Biggers and he is a textile artist. Hmm, what does the word textile mean? Textile is the word for fabric, yarn, um, your clothes are made out of textiles, your uh, curtains, your couch, your towels, your rugs, those are textiles. So he is an artist and he primarily makes something called quilts. I bet you've heard of quilts before and you probably think that's like a old granny sewing and making quilts, but artists also make quilts and you can make some beautiful artwork out of quilts. Here are some of his artworks. So for this week, we are inspired by his quilt and we will make our own quilt, but it's not made out of textiles, it will be made out of paper. But we are going to make our paper look like fabric, like textiles. So here's my quilt and it is made out of my regular project paper that I use. Um, and I'll show you how we can do, what we can do to make it soft, okay? So let's get started on our quilt. We are starting off with our paper and you can use a black marker or crayon, but you are going to go in and make some lines. They don't need to be perfectly straight, they're kind of wiggly lines, but we want them going from one side to the other side of the paper. When you have three of those, you're going to rotate your paper and do the same thing but on the other side. And We're going to do four lines going that way. If you need to, you can pause this and um, you can catch up. But obviously, they don't need to be perfect. And there we go. So now it is time to color in our quilt. And so every little square is supposed to be a different piece of fabric. So every square should be a different color or a different design of uh, fabric. And you can do this with whatever supplies you have. So go ahead and for each square, you could color it in a solid color, so one color, or you could make designs in it. That is up to you. But you're going to go ahead and do that on every single square. Please take your time. I don't want to see any scribbling. I want to see some very nicely drawn squares. This project is a lot of fun because all of our quilts will be different because um, not all of our squares will be the same. So if you want, you could draw flowers or hearts. You could do shapes, different kinds of lines. Um, that is all up to you. Remember, it could also just be solid squares. And you can use crayons, markers, colored pencils, watercolors, whatever you have, you can use. Right now that we are just about finished with drawing in all of our squares, it is time to add our fake stitching. So make it look like um, it is all stitched together. And that is using our black marker or crayon again and doing little tiny lines or dashes on those first swiggly lines that we did. And they look like they're little threads holding each square together. So that's the next step. This is super fast, so make sure to pause it so you can do it yourself. 
Alright, now that we have that done, this is optional. You don't have to do this part if you don't want to, but I am cutting um, little tiny strips on the sides to make it look um, more like a quilt or like a rug even. But this is optional. You don't have to do the cutting step. And the next part is we are going to crumple it up. But be careful not to rip it too much. But this is how you get it to feel soft and for it to look like fabric. So believe it or not, we're going to crumple it up into a ball, spread it out, crumple it again. And we're still going to be gentle with it so we don't get many rips. If you do get a rip, you could tape it if you want. Um, but little tiny rips is no big deal. Way to go on your quilt. I'm sure it looks great and I'm sure you did things to make your quilt your own. Um, and I can't wait to see it. So make sure you take a photo of it and send it to me on Seesaw or Google Classroom, depending on which one I want you to use. I hope you had fun. Bye!